You know those moments where all of your library holds just seem to become available at the same time? That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. I was on Libby earlier and I realized that I have a bunch of library loans out right now and I have anywhere between 10 days and three days to finish them. So why not make it a little challenge, right? <laughs> so for the next seven days, I'm gonna try and read seven books. It's a little after nine o'clock right now, so I'm gonna use that as my start time and my end time. For a lot of them, I have the audiobook checked out from my library and then I have the physical book. So today we are starting out with Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. I have the audiobook checked out from my library. It is 11 hours long and there are a total of, I'm gonna try to do this without spoiling it for myself, because that always happens. There's 377 pages in this. But like I said, it's nine o'clock right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start and we'll see how far I can get into this every time I go to bed. So it is now 12, 11. I'm now on chapter 22 and I am 59% done with the audiobook. There's a section where it kind of gives you a breakdown of your like stats. It says I've been reading for two hours and 53 minutes and I'm on track to finish in two hours and one minute. I don't know why I was under the impression that this was a high school romance. Thank God it's not. It's very like, I don't want to say wholesome because it does deal with heavier topics, but it's like their relationship is very wholesome. That's pretty much where we're at. Not me having to fight back tears as I do my makeup. I just listened to chapter 27, which is like the culmination of everything and... Ugh. I'm on chapter 28 now and I am trying to hold it together. I can't ruin my makeup before it's done. I have things to do today. Wow. Because I'm gonna be going over seven books, I don't want to give any spoilers. The romance starts up a little bit quicker in this than I'm usually into, but I liked it. I liked the way that it was done and it made sense for this particular story, but it was really good. Definitely pulled at all of the heartstrings. I just, oh, I wanna hug all of them. Not Victoria. One book down. It's only been 18 hours since I started. We're doing pretty good so far. I'm gonna go get some work done and hopefully be able to finish and start the next book before nine o'clock. That's the goal. So it's a lot later than I thought it would be. It is 9.48 to be exact. We're officially in day two and I have not done any reading. So the whole getting ahead thing did not happen. I'm currently doing my monthly reset. The next thing on my list is to clean my makeup brushes and do some self care, which means I can listen to books while I do those things. The next one on my list is Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painters. I'm gonna listen to the first chapter while reading along because it just helps me to get into the world and then I'm going to continue with my monthly reset and just have it playing in the background. Penguin Random House Audio presents Mr. Wrong Number by Lynn Painter. Olivia, it started the night after I burned down my building. I'm already loving this. <laughs> That was not the plan. <laughs> it is now 3.14. I just finished my second book. Definitely more lighthearted than Archer's voice was. I'm trying to come up with like coherent thoughts, but it is that time of night where all I can register is like, <laughs> I liked it. That is the extent of my thoughts right now. This is definitely a he falls first scenario. She is a mess and it stresses me out a little bit. I still really enjoyed it. One thing that I thought was super weird that has absolutely nothing to do with the storyline. Look at this. There are no words. What the heck? This one was a total of eight hours long and I ended up listening to it for a total of four hours and 41 minutes. And now I need to go to bed because my brain is not functioning anymore. Good morning, it is the next day. We're still technically on day two and I have started two more books. First, I started Maggie Moves On by Lucy Score. That one, I'm a little scared of because Lucy Score has some thick books. And that one is not an audiobook, so I went ahead and started that now and I'm just gonna be kind of reading it when I get the chance. So far I'm really enjoying it because Maggie is a, she flips homes for a living and she does YouTube, so. And then this morning, I also started an audiobook, Just Haven't Met You Yet by Sophie Cousins. I read the first chapter on the physical book while listening to it, like I told you guys I like to do yesterday. I relate a little bit too much to the main character. We'll see how that ends for me. Now I can go ahead and just let it play while I do my makeup and get some filming done. We've officially made it to day three. <laughs> According to this, if I read at the same speed that I was reading at last night, I'm on track to finish Maggie Moves On in 12 hours and 17 minutes, which is a long time. So I'm gonna turn off the lights so I don't have any distractions and I'm just gonna read. 
It is 7.38 on day three, and as much as I hate to say it, I'm about to fall behind. <laughs> Either I've become accustomed to reading paperback books and only using my phone for audiobooks, or I was really tired last night. As I was reading, my eyes kept blurring, and I started getting frustrated with how slowly I was reading because this book is super long and I am very competitive. So I ended up getting a free trial for audiobooks.com. Never heard of it before, but it offers two free books during that 30-day free trial. So I downloaded the audiobook for or Maggie moves on. That really helped me pick up the pace and I ended up reading until 1.15 in the morning, something like that. I'm trying to come to terms with the fact that I will be a little bit behind, but that doesn't mean I can't catch up. I'm currently 56% of the way through the book and it says I have three hours and 11 minutes estimated until I finish it. It's almost eight o'clock now, so I will be finishing this in day four. We're doing our best. <laughs> now I'm going to try and finish up my work while continuing to listen to the audiobook and hopefully we don't get too far behind. I loved that. <laughs> I think I'm just emotional right now. But the ending of that book, the last like five chapters maybe, wrecked me. It was really good. <laughs> it was really good. Did I pretend that Silas had brown hair the entire time though? Now I want a physical copy. <laughs> I need to go to sleep before I end up purchasing the book because I make all of my bad financial decisions impulsively late at night. I ended up taking five hours and eight minutes to read it. Now, the best part of reading a book, hell yeah. I gotta go to sleep. Okay, good night. <laughs> I'm behind again. Ah! It is 8.18, it's still technically day four, but um, I can't say that I've made too much progress on this. <laughs> Actually, that's not totally true. I did read two chapters while I was eating lunch, so we've made some progress, but I'm still... <gasps> I have three more holds in the library that are ready for me to borrow. I'm at 18% of the way through versus the 14% that I stopped at yesterday. I am determined to start going to bed earlier though. So I will not be staying up super, super late trying to finish this to catch up. Instead, I'm finishing as much of my work as I can right now. And then tomorrow I can read as much as I want. I'm still determined to win this. And I mean, I'm winning absolutely nothing, but my plan right now is to start getting ready for bed around 9.30. If I'm done working before then, then I can get ready beforehand and then just get in bed and read longer. But I'm not gonna read past 10.30 tonight. So none of what I planned to happen last night actually happened. So I ended up finishing work yesterday at like 9.30 and then I went to go have dinner and then I was just talking to my family. All of a sudden it was 11 o'clock and I was barely getting in bed. So no reading happened. But I woke up early today and I had a very productive day. I finished all of my work and I have been reading ever since. So I'm now on page 335 on Just Haven't Met You Yet, which means I am 90% of the way through and then I can jump into my next ones, which I definitely need to start by before nine o'clock. It is 7.18 right now. I think I'm gonna give this one a five. <laughs> I've been getting really good luck with these books. I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about all of them, but... And we gotta jump straight into the next one. Also, that one ended up taking me a total of four hours and 57 minutes to read. I think I'm gonna read Seven Days in June next. I've been wanting to read this one for a very, very long time, and that one is due in six days. It's 10.30 right now. We are officially in day five. Day six? What day am I in? <laughs> I'm 34% of the way through seven days in June. I have to say this one is definitely more of like a serious read than I was expecting, which is totally fine. It is definitely addressing some really important topics and I'm enjoying it nonetheless. I did end up using the second audiobook credit from audiobooks.com for this book. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set a sleep timer for like 45 minutes and I'm gonna slow down the speed of the audiobook and hopefully I'll be able to kind of pinpoint exactly where I was in the story when I wake up in the morning. Anyway. Who is texting me at this hour? My cousin just texted me. She just finished reminders of him by calling Hoover. Should I read that one instead tomorrow? I think I'm gonna start that one tomorrow. It really doesn't take that much to convince me. <laughs> so it's the next morning, we're still in day six. I am, I already forgot, hang on. I'm 61% through seven days in June. I've had a very productive day so far and I slept like the dead last night. So I feel fantastic. I have a good feeling, still a little bit nervous though. <laughs>
So it's 444. We love angel numbers. I just finished seven days in June. Like I mentioned earlier, it was definitely not a fluffy romance, but it was still very good. There's chronic illness rep. It's written in third person. There's a lot of moments that just kind of like break your heart, but it was beautiful. And now I'm just gonna jump straight into book six. We have four hours until day seven starts. So we're gonna try to get through as much of Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover as we can. There was like a, a deal for Kindle Unlimited and the audiobook version of this is on there. I'm really doing the most just to get the audiobook of some of these. I'm gonna go ahead and start it and I'm terrified because every time I read a Colleen Hoover book, it wrecks me. This one is 320 pages and then the audiobook is 10 hours and 17 minutes. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's just a book. It can't hurt you. <laughs> Chapter one. I'm literally only 14% in. I've been on the edge of tears twice. I don't even know if you can see my tears, but they're there. I actually don't remember the last time I spoke to you. <laughs> I'm now on chapter 26, 58% of the way through. This is so good. I kind of want to make it last, but like I also need to know how it ends. Even if I wasn't doing this challenge, I would probably finish this one in one sitting. Oh my god. At 8.59. <laughs> wow. I think that's my favorite Colleen Hoover book ever. Also, please ignore the cuts on my hand. I fell the other day. <laughs> that was, this is easily the best book. Best book I've read all week. And now it is officially day seven. I think I'm gonna need the night to process this one though. So I will be starting book seven in the morning. Oh. So it's 11 o'clock right now and I've already gotten like an hour and a half worth of work done today. So I'm gonna take a little break and I'm gonna start book seven, which is Funny You Should Ask by Alyssa Sussman. This one was apparently inspired by a Chris Evans interview that was done like years ago. It was a long time ago. It's not super, super long. Did I say chapter 90? Oh, 30. <laughs> Big difference. I don't have the audiobook for this one. I was really close in getting it. Have I been using them as a crutch this whole time? Maybe. So I'm gonna spend maybe like two hours reading right now. It has been exactly two hours. I am now on chapter 15, this far through. I'm actually really proud of the progress that I've made considering I don't have the audiobook. I've been able to like actually focus. Granted, this book is making it really easy to actually focus. It's basically like every fangirl's dream. I'm gonna work for a little bit and then when it's time for lunch, I will start reading again. We did it. With three hours to spare, I have officially finished seven books in seven days. <laughs> now I feel like there's a void that I need to fill by reading another book. I went too hard in the paint for my addictive personality. <laughs> so I just finished Funny You Should Ask. I'm not a huge fan of the miscommunication trope and that is definitely in here. But I love Gabe Parker so much, part of me doesn't even care. If you've ever been obsessed with a celebrity, then this one hits different. It's definitely a more lighthearted, easy read than some of the other books that I read, but I feel like it was exactly what I needed. And I think it was the perfect way to round out this challenge. Even though I was on a time crunch, I feel like I still thoroughly enjoyed all of the books that I read. I also got very lucky in the fact that they were all either four or five star reads for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you for following along on this journey with me. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a Friday upload. All three of those things also very much help support my channel. So I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> and I will see you guys all in next week's video. Bye.